First to you, Andrew Weissman. Let me build on what Sahil was just talking about. We've heard from Mitch McConnell to Liz Cheney to plenty of other Republican senators who came out against the commission saying, hey, what the president did and his actions should be fully investigated. Um, I, I, I don't know how you interpreted Christopher Ray's remarks. I, I, it sounded to me as if the president is not yet under investigation. Well, um, Chris Ray's remarks were not a model of clarity. What he was actually asked was whether there was an FBI referral to the department on that issue. And that is not how things typically go um, until uh, an investigation sort of uh, pretty long, far along to ask for a prosecutor. So I'm not sure he crystallized that. But I think that his overall testimony left so much substance uh, out um, that you don't know whether this was an intelligence failure or this was a law enforcement failure and not acting on the intelligence or both. Um, and just focusing on the Norfolk report and passing it on doesn't answer any of the questions that the American public has a right to understand and know. And I actually found this hearing so far to be quite dispiriting because the FBI director works for us, the public, right. and needs to be a lot more forthcoming about the intelligence and what they knew and what they did with that intelligence. And, and Andrew, it does seem to follow a pattern where it does seem as if only until recently, and I think Christopher Ray's stance on domestic extremism has shifted with the threat, but it does seem as if law enforcement has not taken this threat from right-wing domestic extremism as seriously, really, until now, until post-January 6th. And, and that seems to come through in this testimony. Well, there was something quite telling in that, which is um, Christopher Ray seemed to not understand the actual statutes involved because he said, we don't look at the motive, we just look at the violence. But the, um, the statute actually is about motive. It is there. There are special penalties if you are motivated by white supremacy, if you are were doing something based on race. Right. Um, those that is actually part of what you're supposed to look at. And so you really did not get the sense that he understood and was taking what happened here seriously when it's such a dramatic failure, not just by the FBI, to be fair, um, mm. But this really is something where we're owed a much more thorough debriefing than what we're getting so far. 